and we're ready to install our first library, our first NGRX library, and we'll start off with the NGRX store. So inside of module three, video seven, click on the documentation button, and that'll send you right to the documentation on NGRX store. So NGRX store is gonna give us the basic building blocks that we're gonna need. So it'll give us access to like what's called create action methods, or create reducer methods, and also uh, we'll be able to create what's called selectors. So if we go into the documentation or this link right here, NGRX store, go down to the architecture, and here are all the different things we'll be able to create by using this library. So let's get this installing a while. Click on the installation. Now, if you're running anything over Angular 6, you could just use this last one down here, ng add. And if you're following along with a GitHub project, that is Angular 9. So this would be fine. Copy this. Let's install this into the project. At the root of the project inside the terminal, paste and hit enter. And after it's done installing, it's gonna make a couple changes to our project. Let's go ahead and check out the app module. I'll close this down and open, on a, open up the app.module file. And the change it made here, it went and pulled in the store module from NGRX store for us, automatically set that up for us. And then here is where we'll register our reducers later on, and we'll be getting into that pretty soon in the next couple of videos. But that is looking really good. And then also it pulled in our package into our package.json file. So it pulled in NGRX store version 9 at the time of this recording, it's version 9, into the package.json. And that's pretty much it for installing it. Now we haven't actually set up any states yet. We'll be doing that in the next couple of videos. But now let's set up our development environment. 